everyone. So we are at 13th Dye and Mold Exhibition happening in Bombay and today I am at the stall of AMT, Ahire Machine Tools. Uh, uh, I am having with us Mr. Herbert Mayer and Mr. Nishikant Ahire. Uh, he is from Allmatic and uh, Mr. Ahire is from AMT Machine Tools, that is Ahire Machine Tools. We would like to understand this collaboration, so that's why I have landed here at straight at your booth. So to start with uh, Mr. Mayer, please let us know what is uh, Allmatic and what all the product ranges you have at Allmatic. Allmatic, uh, we come from Germany and on the Tinga we produce uh, since 40 years clamping system and the normally clamping system and the grip clamping system and the new line is the electric clamping system and we have um, a large sortiment for the customer and we have a long cooperation with Mr. Hiri with AMT and we produce parts in Germany, we produce parts in, in India and uh, we tried to sail on the world to to sail. Absolutely and uh, here it is 13th dye and mold which is concentrated to the Indian market. So how uh, Allmatic products are you know uh, providing an advantage to the dye and mold sector if you can elaborate. We have uh, also typical uh, sign is Salmatic and we have a cooperation, we have boots, uh, parts and the engineering also produced is uh, from a boots company in this yeah. Absolutely. Coming to you, uh, Aire sir, we would like to understand uh, again the collaboration from your perspective with Allmatic and uh, also how what is the role Aire Machine Tool is playing in the dye mold sector. Yeah. Uh, good morning and uh, we are associated with Allmatic last 14 years and we have a marketing and manufacturing understanding with them. We represent them on the Indian platform. And uh, for dye and mold industry, uh, they, they have very special product with the grip technology where the clamping is within 3 micro, 3, three millimeters or 5 millimeters maximum and that's uh, very, very useful and attractive for dye and mold industry. So that, that, that's a big advantage, you can finish components in one clamping, you can machine dye or dye inserts. That, that, that's a big help. And how do you see uh, the Allmatic collaboration and where, where is this collaboration heading if we may ask? Yeah, we are strongly associated so there is good amount of handholding. They, my team is uh, trained in Almatic. Uh, Mr. Mahindra has supported us for establishing manufacturing of few parts here and technological parts they provide us and the mechanical things which we manufacture here so German pro uh, product, German quality at Indian price that's our uh, thought process while manufacturing it here right. and it's a win-win situation for both of us right. So talking about the dye and mold sector I would like to ask you Mr. Mayor uh, how, where do you see the future of dye and mold sector and uh, what all you see the spaces of advancements when it comes to the product product ranges like yours? I think so. We, we learn together for the market and we can learn from India, India can learn from Germany but uh, the target of our boost company is the sale to the product. And in the future, I think we must uh, produce a uh, high quality product. And the target is uh, the good product to cooperation with the electric. And uh, later, I think we must cooperation to the machine system. And for the, for, for the Medina, uh, we have a completely system for the produce. And uh, so we can learn from do it and uh, we have the same target. 
thank you for this uh, insight uh, coming to you sir well what do you see the future of dye and mold industry in india and of course your suggestions for the advancements you being the you know uh, veteran of the you know, industry yes uh, whatever we are manufacturing and marketing here in india there are solutions for two axis three axis four axis five axis machining as well as uh, the clamping column for tombstones uh, that, that typically goes with hmcs so this is a wonderful thing and i'm very happy to say that they are the european leaders in work holding solutions and we are very happy to have understanding with each other thank you so much for this uh, insights thank you so much for uh, spending your time with us and uh, thank you so much everyone for watching us hello everyone uh, we are at 13th dye and mold exhibition happening in bombay and i have landed up at the stall of ahire machine tools amt a uh, well known brand for the work holding a proudly make in india brand i would say uh, with us is uh, mr chetan sawant the ceo of the company yeah. and uh, would like to discuss about the uh, product ranges you have for the dye and mold sector especially which are demonstrating here so you can get us through what all you have demonstrated uh, see when we speak of dye and mold industry it's majorly a uh, metal cutting which is in mind because a mold is perfect only when the cutting is perfect this is what we say so the products that you see over here majorly are in such a fashion that they they actually help you to cut the material to its own precision and the product that you get is of the finest quality so basically the finer the mold finer would be the end product so this is what you see so the products that you see at display are made with the five axis machining devices that we have right now which is very critical and very important for the new age machine to the uh, users and the new kind of machine that you have so it is uh, the criticality lies into how much you can clamp how fast you can clamp and what kind of flexibility you can get through this cutting what kind of depth of cuts we can take when you clamp it that way so the devices that you see will help the manufacturer realize the potential of the machine to its fullest the the, the the products that you see over here are majorly for hmc machining for horizontal machining again same principle lies here the devices that you saw earlier can be clamped into the horizontal fashion in any fashion so basically we can make non standard tombstones like this where you can clamp either the devices zero point clamping systems or you can have your own fixing system on this then we have a very simple product range uh, uh the latest addition to our uh, factory or uh, the product range uh, what we say is uh, the low profile wedge clamps so this allows a customer to modulate be flexible into his clamping solution and he can design his own clamping uh, 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 projects whenever it is required he can dismantle or make them as and when he requires and majorly when you are uh, speaking of smaller components and very fast clamping is required where the, the customer doesn't want to spend a lot in investing into a fixing solution or a very rigid clamping solution so these are the product which facilitates uh, uh, them to do so and we are very happy to say that we have started exporting this to europe and usa and we are going very good in the indian market also so that's a big uh, project that we have uh, the product that you see over here is the smallest wise that we have five axis wise that we have uh, in our product portfolio so you can see that it can be clamped in a angular fashion or into a five uh, axis uh, fixture so you can realize the entire uh, uh, potential of the machine and that it also allows clamping of multiple components at the same time on same machine so this is what uh, a customer can uh, expect so with all the products that you see right now uh, we try to be uh, flexible not only with uh, what we offer to our customers but uh, then again uh, we also try to understand the problem statement first and then we will select a product or design a product as per their requirement so basically what we try to do is uh, is we try to handle the problem statement and not the product that we are trying to sell to the customer so it's a problem statement that we try to uh, avoid a uh, uh, provide a solution for and that is what we work on so that's the reason why most of the customers end up being very happy working with us and uh, Uh, we also feel very proud when we say that we can actually give them a solution which not only works 
but then again they are also satisfied with what solution they are getting absolutely so uh, like i said in the beginning also you are the proudly make in india company you know you have a manufacturing setup in nashik uh how do you see uh the future of indian manufacturing uh in the upcoming years and also uh, the dye and mold sector in the upcoming few years talking about the advancements that could be imbibed into the industry uh, automation is what i see happening more and more uh, the machines that you see now the the the, the kind of feature list that they come with it's all leading us to go manless machining the idea is that we adopt this technologies as fast as we can and right now i feel the indian market is ready to adopt this kind of technologies and uh, being a indian manufacturer i know that sometimes it is difficult to accept this this technology but then again also being a indian manufacturer i feel that we are both uh, open to understand develop redevelop we invest we think uh, on this kind of technologies and then again the kind of machine tool builders that you see over here and what kind of machines they were building 5 years back now what they are offering there is a huge difference into the type of machines they are offering and i feel that newer players that are moving into the indian market so it itself is a testament on what kind of uh, market india is and what kind of potential indian market has and uh, i feel that more and more companies from west will start investing into either smaller into uh, smi sectors in india or maybe set up their own shops in india take advantage of this knowledge thank you so much for giving us this insights and uh, it was wonderful to explore the product range that you have at your stall for dye and mold uh, we wish you the best for uh, the upcoming years and futures we also got to know about your you know partnership with almatech yeah. we have discussed that so stay tuned everyone for uh, getting more information about all those things